on behalf of Aaron and Kayla and their families, I welcome you and thank you for being here for this celebration this evening. I have a poem to share with you that uh, was given to me by uh, Aaron and, and Kayla. It says, you have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry from that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed. You have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car or over a meal or during a long walks together. All those sentences that began with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will. Somehow and maybe in all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart, all these common things and more are the real process of this wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it all, every word. Now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to this to the world, this is my husband. This is my wife. I, Aaron, take you, Kayla, to be my partner in life. I, Kayla, take you, Aaron, to be my partner in life. I vow to be your greatest fan and toughest adversary. To be honest when it's hard. And to laugh when it's easy. I promise always to remind you. Of your worth. And to spend each day working to become. The truest version of myself. For you. For us and for our family. I promise to love you more today. Than I love you yesterday. And I'll love you even more tomorrow. My commitment to you is made in love, kept in faith, and eternally made new. I promise to give, and to receive, to speak, and to listen, and to honor our marriage always.